Notion has a problem. Most people don't notice it, so it might not be a big problem, but for us note-taking aficionados, it's kind of a big deal. I'm talking, of course, about speed. Now, Notion has a great feature, that is, you can use it anywhere, Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, the web, etc. This is killer and likely one of the reasons why it's so popular. However, that does come with a small set of drawbacks. First, how can a small team of developers maintain this quasi-free app on every single platform? Well, they really only maintain one, the web app, and reuse it on both Windows and Mac. It's not an app specifically crafted from the ground up for your operating system. Even when using the standalone app, you're basically using a Chrome tab with all of the positives and negatives attached to that. Second, Notion is primarily a web-based service. This is great because it means you can store gigabytes and gigabytes of data and it won't take up any space on your machine. However, it also means you have to rely on your internet connection for almost everything. Yes, there is an offline mode, but a lot of the features that make Notion appealing don't work offline. The Notion team has been optimizing performance for a while now and they made huge progress, but when it comes down to it, browsing Notion is basically like browsing a website. So opening pages, but especially searching your notes, well, it's historically been a, a little bit slow. So here comes Craft. If you are in the Apple ecosystem, Craft is similar to Notion in many ways and it tackles Notion's problems really well. The main selling point of Craft is that it is a native app to both macOS and iOS and works offline first. You do have sync between devices, in fact, that has been working great for me so far, but the app was built from the ground up to start offline. This means search is blazing fast. The app in general feels fast and I know that it's a bit of a generic term, but it's just really pleasant to use. The design is minimal yet functional. It respects Apple's design choices, so it feels like a proper Mac and iOS app. And everything is as smooth as butter. And in both macOS and iOS, the app has the same design language. So switching between the two is really, really easy. It's got a lot of the things you expect and that you had in Notion. First and foremost, it works with the same block system. So you create blocks with text and files and move them around. You have collaboration. So just like in Notion, many people can work on the same document. Plus, you can link to your own notes from other notes as you'd imagine. In fact, you can link to individual blocks. Now, a great thing about Notion is that you can quickly share the page you're working on as a link with others so they can also see it. It's a neat way to have what is basically a website without having to actually build a website. Craft has that too for single pages. So you click here and enable the secret link. The people at Craft are now also developing a web version of the app. So for people who use Android or Windows, or if you just wanna access your notes from a browser, like you can in Notion, you will be able to do that too once the web version comes out of beta. Now, I haven't been accepted into the beta yet, so I can't really show you anything from it, but it's supposed to be a slightly simplified version of the app, except on the browser. So in the future, you'll be able to enjoy the speed of the native app while enjoying the portability of a web app. So it's all great, right? It's got everything Notion has, but faster. Well, not quite. I'll show you some of the downsides of Craft so you can make an informed decision. First of all, it's paid. The free tier limits you to a thousand blocks, which is nice, but that won't do it for long-term use of the app. I know for some people, $50 a year is not a big deal, but I also know that for some others, like people in developing countries, it's a lot. So just saying, it's a subscription. Now, Notion is also a subscription, but yeah, you don't really need it. The free plan is more than enough. Another big disadvantage is, well, this is almost a meme among craft users, but there are no databases and no tables of any kind. I love using Notion precisely because of this. I can have Kanban boards for ideas and 
tracking my progress on projects, and Craft doesn't have that at the time of making this video. In fact, you can't make a table. Now, when it comes to tables, I know they're working on them, and if you're watching this in the future, they will likely have been released by now, but will we ever see a fully-fledged database system like in Notion? I don't know, but I hope so. So, Craft solves what is perhaps Notion's biggest problem. Craft is fast, there's no doubt about that. That speed, however, unless a thousand blocks are enough for you, does come at a cost, and you do miss out on a couple of Notion features like databases. Thing is though, yes, it's not as evolved, but you know I'll say it, I just can't stress enough how pleasant it is to use. Now, I said this in my blog before, and I'll say it in a video in the future, but the purpose of a writing app or a note-taking app is to get you to write more or to take more notes. Having a writing app you never use is useless. It should make you want to open it and use it. So I say try both for a while and go with your gut. But put them both on your dock and observe. Which one do you end up reaching for the most? Well, I'm willing to bet they'll be neck and neck.